Hola amigos, hola amigos, welcome, bienvenido, croissery, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chash, the action mash. Um, if you can see either side, you can kind of guess what this video, and also from the title, we're going to be doing some retro writing. This is for a subscriber, and I had a lovely note saying, let's have a read. Hi Dorian. Two Hoover lenses are enclosed. Please, you be retro bright them as discussed. Blah blah blah. Thank you very much for doing this for me. Da da da. So, let's have a look and see what lenses we've got first of all. I've opened the box, but I haven't taken them out of the packaging, as you can see. Let's take the tape off. Okay, so we have a Hoover Senior lens. Uh, it's got some cracking on it, unfortunately. Doesn't seem to be too badly yellowed around the outside, but the front lens is definitely yellow. This one, I recognise these little beauties. <laughs> this is from a Hoover um, Dirt Searcher, and that is as yellow as mud. Oh, it's got a little bit missing off there, but that's okay still works fine uh cracking it across there but still won't be that bad but it is very very yellow so let me take a picture of these first with my other camera so i have my plastic container here and i have my file here Okay, so we got the container fully covered in foil around the sides. Now, there's something that I did buy for Christmas myself because I'm always having trouble trying to get these things to weigh down. And so I bought these. These are for um, little forceps scissors. So what I'll be able to do... Oh, shoot. Uh, is use the forceps scissors like on there for example and that will weigh it down and I can do it again for this one so I can do it on that side and that will weigh it down so they fit in there better let me get you over I can't see what I've done with those um plastic weights that I had but it doesn't matter I've got these so put that through there I'll put that through there yeah that'll do uh right so next thing I have to do now is get my gloves Okay, if you're doing this, you should always wear gloves because this is hydrogen peroxide, food grade. But don't be taken away by the thing of food grade. You can't eat it. It's extremely corrosive on skin. So let's fill up the container until it's covered. Okay, now I'm going to use my pliers to remove any of the trapped air. inside and the same one. I'm gonna put my clear perspex lid on like so I've got my two 30 watt UV lights I've got two strips of um, aluminium foil just to try and reflect as much light as possible. Okay, so everything is now set up. 
I'm going to plug the lights in. Yep, both lights are on. And we just, just, <laughs> we just, we just need to leave these cook now for 24 hours. Um, it is 12 minutes past five. And now um, of, oh gosh, <sighs> Tuesday. So I'm gonna come back in 24 hours and see, have and take a look and see how these are cooking. May need to move some stuff around, but well, these are gonna take at least two days, at least 48 hours, because especially the Hoover Junior lens, it is extremely yellowed. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it white, but we certainly will try. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> So these have been cooking for four full days. So I've been taking sneaky peeks every day, twice a day, taking a look at them. And this is four full days. So let me unplug it. Let's take off the lights. Remove the plastic cover. Right, let's take a look at this one. Oops. It is a lot brighter. There's still a tinge of yellow. Now these ones, now that, it's gotten lighter on the edge. It's it's a good couple of shades lighter, but it is not really. It's made a, it's made a, a difference, but not a huge difference. It's a bit disappointing. I did think that it would be um, lighter than this. But it is definitely a lot better than what it was. Uh, let me just get another cloth. Okay, let me wipe off the excess. It's about 10 shades lighter, definitely. But I just think sometimes it is not possible to perform a miracle. Yes, I will give it a polish, but I'm afraid that is the best we are going to get with that. the same with this this has improved a lot this is definitely a lot brighter I'm pleased with this I will use some of my compound polish on it by hand to put some shine back into it Yeah, but that, that's definitely a heck of a lot brighter than what it was. I'll put some compound polish on there and um, see if I can just take off like a little layer of the surface. But that is also ingrained, but definitely an improvement. But no, nah, it's going to be really hard to get that white again. I don't know why the, these lenses, these ones seem to work better than these ones. I don't know why, different type of plastic probably. But what I'll do now, so you'll see me do a polish of these um, and then I'll come back to then at the very end. I've got to clear all this away. But the stainless steel forceps, I've ordered some more. They are fantastic. They've been really good. Not much weight to them, unfortunately, but these will be good. I've ordered a couple more um, and they will help 
me be able to sort of like submerge the items and uh, the solution. So yeah, I'm real pleased with these. Very good, very not expensive and good. Right, okay, let's move on to the polishing. Okay guys, there we go. This is the best I can get them. This one is about 20 shades lighter, but unfortunately that is the best it could get to. Definitely looks better than what it was and I've managed to put a nice shine on it. The Hoover Senior one is definitely a lot lighter than what it was again not a hundred percent i'm quite disappointed that this didn't go back to sort of like bright white but again i've put a shine on it and it's definitely in better condition than what it was unfortunately these just aren't going to stay like this i've put some of the um protectant on it some of this aerospace protectant 303 um, but it only lasts, you have to keep putting this on like every three weeks, it's not really practical. Um, so eventually they will go back to the colour that they were originally, but definitely looks a lot better anyway, and it's got a nice little shine on it. So this is going to be sent back to the person that sent it to me, and uh, I have another one to do, but I'm not going to do that off camera. I'll probably, I may just do sort of like a, a short video on it or something, but... Uh, there we go. Unfortunately, some of these plastics, no matter how hard you try, you just cannot get them back to what they were originally. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye. Bye.